Hey guys, Connor here and welcome back to Star Wars Central. Tonight we've got a quick update for Battlefront 2, nothing too major, just a small news video going over some recent changes to Hero Showdown, which is of course the new 2v2 Heroes vs Villains game mode that arrived in-game last week. It seems that so far the mode has been very well received. I initially had my doubts about it because I felt that people might be a bit too concerned with part 2 of season 2 to recognise how fun and entertaining Hero Showdown really is. But thankfully, it seems that pretty much everyone is in agreement that the new mode is absolutely fantastic to play and was definitely, regardless of any doubts we had or what we'd rather prefer, a good move by DICE. Now since this is a pretty small update today, I'm going to try and keep the video short. There's no point in making a 10 minute video about some simple map changes. So let's get started and the sooner this video is out of the way, the sooner you guys can go and check out Battlefield 5's reveal. I have linked the live stream in the comments and description below, so as soon as you're done here, open up a new tab and wait for Battlefield 5. Now, in the last week, we've actually seen some updates to Hero Showdown, which we weren't really expecting. Generally speaking, in the past, when large features like Hero Showdown have arrived, they don't normally receive any changes or updates for at least two weeks or maybe even a month. But this time round, with Hero Showdown, DICE are delivering updates much faster. The new mode was updated just a couple of days ago to include a whole bunch of other maps in the rotation, so it's not just Jabba's Palace anymore, we've actually got access to Starkiller Base, Naboo and Hoth. That means it now has a map total of four maps, one of which, Jabba's Palace, is new to Battlefront 2. Now, if that's not good enough, I've got even better news. They're actually planning to add more maps to the rotation of Hero Showdown. Now, most people I've seen online seem to think that, ideally, the best situation is having all of the maps in Battlefront 2 available in this new game mode. Now, most people I've seen online seem to think that, ideally, the best situation is having all of the maps in Battlefront 2 available in this new mode. But the thing is, when you think about it, that might not be the best thing for gameplay. And that's just because some maps aren't really that good when you play as heroes or villains. A good example of this is Yavin 4, which even as an infantry map is pretty subpar, and as a heroes versus villains map seriously punishes blaster or long range heroes. So to help sort out which maps should and shouldn't be in the rotation, Ben, our community manager, made a post on the Battlefront Reddit asking a pretty important question. Here's what he had to say. Quick question about Hero Showdown for you all. Which are your least favourite maps in the rotation right now? We're looking to change up the rotation next week, which means that 1-2 will go and will be replaced by 1-2 others. Which one should go in your opinion? Okay, so this pretty much means that 1-2 to two new maps are ready to be released for the 2v2 Hero Showdown rotation. Instead of adding those to the current rotation and making the total 5-6 to six maps, they're instead going to drop two maps from the current 4-map rotation and replace them with two new ones that they've been working on. I think this is really good and much better for the longevity of the game mode. What I mean by this is that if they just added the maps to the rotation, then the chances of getting to play the new maps would of course drop. By them keeping the rotation short but varied, on a perhaps weekly or bi-weekly basis, then they can keep people interested and invested in this game mode much longer than they normally would be. For example, if I know that Hero Showdown isn't going to change much week to week, or isn't going to change at all for that matter, then after playing it for 20 to 30 hours straight, then I'm probably going to go back to Galactic Assault or Heroes vs Villains. Instead, with this varied rotation, DICE can keep bringing me back week after week because something will be new and I'll want to play it. I definitely support more systems like this in Battlefront 2. Having everything available at once is perhaps good at release when you want to show off how many maps or modes you have, but at this stage in Battlefront 2's life cycle, we need to start thinking about player retention more than anything else. We need players to stick around on a weekly basis and hopefully keep this game going for many years to come. Now, as for what Ben said in regards to the rotation, I do have a few ideas. Generally speaking, Starkiller Base seems to be the weakest map in the new rotation. Having it set outside was a big mistake in my opinion. Starkiller Base has a strong interior for heroes vs villains combat and to be forced outside was just not very good for the map. So whilst that might be a map that will be suggested a lot in the coming days to be removed from the rotation, I'd just like to say that yes, it probably shouldn't be in the current rotation in its current state, 
but if they switch it to the interior, then there's a good chance it will be one of the best maps for Hero Showdown in Battlefront 2. As for the other three maps, I'd say keep Jabba's Palace, definitely remove Hoff, anything would be better in my opinion, and keep Naboo. I'd be happy to see Starkiller Base and Hoth go, and maybe replaced by Kashyyyk and Bespin. But I would also like to see Starkiller Base return in the future, once they've refocused it on the interior battles rather than the outside of the base. So that's the news for today. Three new maps for Hero Showdown, and Ben is asking what maps you want to see removed for the new rotation that's coming next week. Remember to check out the description down below, I have linked Ben's post on the Battlefront Reddit, be sure to voice your opinions and tell him what maps you want to see removed, and also maybe what maps you'd like to see in the future. Battlefront 2 has a lot of environments that could be remade for 2v2 Hero Showdown. Even Vardos from the campaign would be a brilliant map to have. So hopefully we'll see frequent maps introduced to this game mode, and fingers crossed it will be the first demonstration of a true life service model. If they keep the updates going, then they're definitely on the right track. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I'll see you next time, and may the force be with you.